Hello everybody and welcome to another Saturday live stream. I know I'm super excited because for the first time in what two weeks, three weeks, something like that, I've I've got two in a row under my belt now. So that's very exciting. And we're back playing more Sea of Stars because RPGs are awesome and everybody should appreciate. So I'm excited to be here. I hope you guys are excited to see. But yeah, incidentally, I do apologize for starting a little bit late. I got distracted reading about a new game called Pal World that just entered um, early access. And it's, uh, it's totally not based on anything that already exists whatsoever. It's an open world survival game where you're able to train uh, creatures that are called pals and you can have them fight each other and you can have them help you build things and all sorts of stuff like that. Obviously not in any way whatsoever. Oh wow, 499, good lord. Um, not in any way reminiscent of any already existing franchises of any sort. Gross, bro. Um, I I don't know if you're able to be the very best. I hope so. It's possible, but as you know, it's very difficult to be certain of these things. Seriously though, the game looks pretty fun, and I. Recently, at least, I've become a, uh, a fan of the open world survival shtick. I think they're pretty cool. As I did, uh, I, I played a bunch of Valheim, as well as I did, oh, what's it called? Green World, I think it is. And there, there are a few others that I've played as well. I really like, I, I think they're pretty Oh good. At, at least I got everything I needed from that, but that, that was just some absolutely atrocious button pressing there. But look at that. Oh, it's Rev. Hi Rev! I'm excited because I get exponentially as many points as I did last time now. Go me. Now, is it just me or is anybody else upset by the severe lack of uh, visibility in this section of the game? I mean, okay, I get it. We're in a cave. But, like, seriously, come on. Like, can we do something, at least? Why did these... Flesh shield? That sounds disgusting. I don't know what a flesh shield is, but I don't like it. Okay, so I lost a point last time, yes, but that means that I have two points <clears throat> because last time I got a point and then I lost it, and this time I get two points. So that means that on balance, I've got two points. I'm just saying, it's uh, pretty awesome. Wait, wait, what? Why did we start with the exponential zero? So wait, we went we went zero to the power of two, and then we went one to the power of two, and and then we went and so next time it's gonna be two to the power of two. Is that how it is? If so, I say bleh! Yep. To this day, I still don't understand what Garl's magic is. Because he doesn't actually have magic, to my knowledge. We'll go for some more HP. Next time I'll earn two points. Yay! See, you're making a rather big assumption there, Rev, in that I am not going to lose any points between now and now. Now, incidentally, 
Why is it that zero to any power is one? I remember at some point I saw a I saw a mathematical explanation for it, but I don't remember what it is. I mean, one is obvious, right? Because it's one times one times one times, you know, ad infinitum or whatever. But zero to the power of one is strange. That's what I said. I, I, I know at some point I saw a thing that described it. Now, I, I, I mean, I've taken advanced math, but it has been a while since I took it. So I'm guessing that's why I don't remember. Or at least that's part of why I don't remember. <clears throat> I'm sure it's one of those things where there's a perfectly valid and logical explanation in some mathematician's mind from, you know, 80 years ago or whatever. Oh, just because math is weird. Ugh. Wait, I thought we were doing powers of two. Because then it's like zero to the two, one to the two, two to the two. Or are we doing the good? Is it, or or is it? But because it well that doesn't make any sense because you can't increase the base and the thing at the same time, so it has to be two. We would have to do at minimum two to the power of zero, which is one. But th see, this doesn't make sense. Rev, you're deliberately confusing me. I do not approve. Also, I feel like I'm lost. It's so dark. Seriously, why does it have to be so dark in here? It, it literally feels unnecessarily dark. I mean, I'm just saying. I got a dude here who literally has the power of the sun. And homie can't be bothered to make things work here. Like, what the fudge? Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. That new deck is Math is indeed weird, though. But see, I like having math jokes. That's always fun. Normally they involve I. More commonly known as the imaginary number. Yes, the imaginary number. Which is odd, because you'd think that there would be more than one number, quote-unquote number, that doesn't actually and only exists in the complex plane. That's right, I said complex plane. Get over it. Y'all just be jealous that I'm so cool. Ow, bugger. Well, now I'm in trouble. Told you I was in trouble. Y'all don't listen. Things are really annoying. At least regular damage works against this guy.
Fucker! See, this is what I mean, like... He doesn't have any actual magic. Unless I'm missing something. Which, don't get me wrong, I very well could be. The good news is that these guys are relatively... Easy to be. Ah, again with the flesh shield. So disgusting. Seriously, who does that? Because I'm so rarely able to make this actually work. Incidentally, I hope that folks have fun plans for the weekend and or no plans for the weekend. Those are really the two best options. You're either doing something cool or doing nothing at all. In my opinion. I have some relatively fun plans, so I'm excited. Now see, every time I do the Sailor Moon things, the Sailor Moon thing, it always makes me want to read manga. I feel like that makes me a bad person. Wait, does that make me a weeb? I don't want to be a weeb. Oh, no. I don't be a weeb. Okay, what is up with these weird, goofy crystals? Also, seriously, can I get the lights? Somehow. This drives me insane. I'm guessing that's good. Maybe. Seriously though, these crystals seem pretty worthless. Either that or I'm just missing something. Which is not unlikely. So help me, if this is just like an elevator that I'm trying to activate or something, I'm going to be really Okay, seriously, how do I get over to that one? Oh, wait, there we go. See, having the place be super dark is like, okay, it's dark because it's cave and spooky, but it just becomes frustrating with stuff like this because I can't see the little entrance. It's not fair. 
Again, I literally have a dude who has the power of the sun. I should be able to, you know, light a little torch. Crying out loud. All right, let's rest. Oh, hang on. We're not going to say anything. We're not going to do it. Wait for it. Okay. See, I always have to make sure that I save uh, whenever I get a chance because for some reason this game has insisted on crashing nearly every single time I play it. I don't understand why. It just it doesn't like to work on my machine. I've had the same problem with some other games, but not as consistently as with this one. Very weird. Seriously, now, what's with the little tippy tappies? We got the little te tippy tap feeds. I might be able to take them all out with this. I say they're moon, they're, they're skeletal butts. I mean, they seem skeletal, right? So it seems like they kind of spread light, but just not a lot of it. Woohoo! That was close. See, I, I can't tell which way is the way forward. Oh boy, a rainbow conk. Actually, that is kind of good because now I finally figured out where I can take them. Seriously though, it's such a random collectible. Uh, collectible in the sense of you get a bunch of them so that you're able to uh, do great stuff. Just because this is cheaper than the Sunball thing. Now, incidentally, I'm curious. For people who have played games like this, do you have particular opinions or proclivities towards the the style of mana or mod, magic power, uh, whatever method is used by characters in an RPG to pay for skills and spells and so, for example, in this game, everybody has their own. In most games, that's how it is. You see that in the Final Fantasy series and all that kind of thing. But then in something like Mario RPG, you have a shared pool of stuff that everybody kind of takes off of. Now, I, I personally think it kind of depends on the context. Like, for this one, this one's really cool. I like how they do it because we have this interesting concept of um, oh what's it called this interesting concept of a uh, a single use one but the the most common way for you to refill is by uh, what's it called by attacking and so everybody is kind of on their own in that sense which I find kind of cool That said, Mario RPG is my favorite game of all time. So, tough to say. Is it? The death count is zero, Winnis. Also, hi. Welcome to my zero death count game. It's kind of like a zero sum game, except I'm awesome. And everybody's jets. 
And then everybody clapped. Because that's what people do. That's what people do when they're jealous. Uh, this is not particularly new. No, Quinnis. Uh, I've, I've been playing this for a, for a good while now. Um, incidentally, this has been the only game that I've been playing. Uh, for, yeah, like, weeks at this point. It's been a good while. I've been having fun with it, though. I really like it. It's a cool RPG. I will say, the story is a little bit goofy. And I can go save the moon on these motherfuckers. By the power of Grayskull! I mean... In the name of the moon, I toss my tiara at you. This is probably going to kill them all. Oh, not quite. Awesome. That means that we can mend. Uh, so, Witness, if you if you haven't seen this, this is a, a game that is very heavily influenced by Mario RPG uh, from the Super Nintendo, and also uh, recently got the Switch remake. Uh, but the the story of the whole thing is that we're playing as Solstice Warriors, which is Zale and Valerie. We are children who were born either on the summer or the winter solstice, and that determines what powers you have. And the idea is that it is our responsibility as the solstice warriors to take down the big bad guys throughout the, the land as they threaten to wake up. And we basically have to put them back to sleep. But the long and short of it is good guys turn out to be the bad guys. And uh, at, at the same time, the guys who seemed like bad guys were actually not bad guys. Which was really weird. Because we have a bestie, right? Uh, so this guy, Garl, uh, up in the corner there. Homie was our best friend when we were growing up, right? He, he was like totes our bestie. We, we grew up in this monastery thing to learn how to use our powers. And Garl was our best friend. And he ended up losing an eye protecting us from a, a bad guy when we were kids. And it's just like, oh my god, like this is such an obvious villain arc. Right? And then it turns out it's like, no, he's just a really cool guy. It's it's all good. Uh sort of like the Lego movie, yes. But uh and, and then the, the other thing too is that uh, they they actually have meme references in the game, which I find to be really strange personally. Um but for example one of the ways that you travel in this game is by being thrown by statues, like big giant statues, and they literally put you in a little ball and chuck you to other islands. And the magic word for them to uh, for them to throw you is yeet. And it's just really, really. It's weird. Oh, new job is weird. What's weird about new job? Furry butts. <sighs> um. Huh. Don't be rude, son. Uh-huh. Oh, and this uh, Sarai, Siri, is a very, very poorly disguised boat captain. And again, they subverted the expectations in that everybody was just kind of playing along with it. And then when she revealed herself, everyone was like, oh uh, yeah, it was kind of obvious. So that was pretty fun. Oh, data engineer. Wait, you do the exact same thing you did before, but you have a completely and very different job type. That makes no sense. 
Down below. Oh, great. Why do I have a feeling that their mom is the evil entity that runs the island? I'm just saying. Do clowns still exist? You need to have a sidebar. I'm fairly certain no one knows what I do. Is that like, uh, it's, it's kind of like the, the weird cousin of rise to the level of your incompetence. Like, do well enough in your, in your chosen field such that nobody, not even you, knows what you actually do. Destroy privacy. Ew, dweller food. So the dweller is the big bad guy who's threatening to destroy the world. Well, one of the big bad guys threatening to destroy the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just sh shut it away and be like, la, 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 la. That is true, it is. Seriously, this is like super reminiscent of Mario RPG and some of the stuff that we see. A nicer room and don't want to share. Not share. I mean, it's true. Not sharing is real. That is true. It does explain the titles of it being completely different, and yet you're doing the exact same thing. It is one hundred percent accurate. And it's, it's kind of funny because I remember I actually asked my dad what he did like years and years and years ago. And he thought about it for a little bit and he said, I make phone calls and answer emails. That's literally what he told me his job was. To this day, I still really don't understand what he does. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. Make phone calls. That's fun, I guess. <laughs> it's just so weird. Incidentally, my dad was actually trained as a uh, as a mechanical and uh, no, as an electrical engineer. Uh, and now he he works for the DoD, um, s selling stuff to foreign nations. It's okay. It's it is both legal and not classified. How cool would it be to do classified work though? I've done it a little bit before, but not much. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get down there? Like seriously, what do I do? I seriously don't see what I'm supposed to do here. It, it just has this very generic platitude of down below. What and or where is down below? Mostly where. This... No? Do I seriously have to go through all of this just to go back? <laughs> Tell you, but I had to kill you. Yeah, that seems to be the uh, the common answer there. What with the the whole, hey, have you done any secret work? Like, maybe. If I did, and if I told you, then you would have to die a most painful death of a thousand flies. Still, I think it's awesome, Winnis. Yay for new position. I hope that you at least like it, even if you don't really know what you're doing. 
Okay, now seriously, why is it that these are red and these are like bluish, whitish? I, I... Okay, am I just missing something really obvious? I feel like that might be it. I've talked to all of them, but it doesn't... It doesn't let me actually do anything here. I can't go to this mysterious down below. This is where I started this whole thing. I actually don't remember exactly where I went from the starting point. But I, I feel legit dumb right now. Also, I'm wondering who the next party member is. Because I got one more slot, and then I have the cargo theme, which is where I put people that I'm transporting. I, I know, it's weird. But, also Because, see, it's like, th this hole is different from the others because it's kind of in this greenish area, but it has this same brownish texture around it. So, do I do something here? Changing the sun position doesn't do anything, understandably, because of me. Um, there's no other entryways or I believe this is the way I went initially. Could be wrong. Ah, see, I was wrong about that. Ho! Oh! Rilla Matriarch. Ooh. Oh, great. Oh, Poor Matriarch. Yeah, who would have thought that something called the Fleshmancer was going to be evil? Oh, poor Gorilla Mama. Oh. Oh! So, before I came here, I drank, like, a special potion thing that was, like, the, um, a drought of mind something. Mind conformity? Mind... I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, and, and so I, I'm guessing that will allow me to remember things. But also, this is called Torment Peak, I guess for a good reason. Plastic surgeon is a flesh mancer. I mean, I guess. This, I I mean, really, any surgeon is a flesh mancer. Most doctors are. I mean, if I put a band aid on, I'm a flesh mancer. Oh, the light from the team never touched. Good thing I got a magical amulet thing that brings the eclipse wherever I am. Sidebar. Ah, freaking Garl. There, see, the tethered mind potion. That's what it was. I have a feeling that she's going to blow a hole in the mountain. So, incidentally, 
that that's the I, I mentioned before, but that's the pirate yeah. ship captain. So my guess is that she's going to the ship and she's going to use the cannons to blow a giant. Just seems like that would make sense. So wait, do the little gorillas swim through here as well? Uh-oh. No, baby gorilla! Save the baby gorilla! Oh, is it like possessed? Oh. Oh, baby gorilla. Oh, bugger. Please don't tell me that you think the giant demon dweller thing is your mom. Carl, you're kind of dumb. I'm sorry, but you are. Holy for holies. I have to admit, the character design in this game is pretty freaking cool. Heads up? Yeah, heads up. That'll help. Everybody watch out! So, let me try some. Okay. That's what I figured. I figured that I couldn't do any damage with them all. Yeah, of course we need more light. We need them. We knew that. Oh, nice! FMV! We don't see these very often in this game. Go, girl! Get them! Oh wait, we got a straight up portal to let the eclipse light in? That's awesome. Carl. Uh... Ah, man, this is another one of these guys that I can attack limbs for as well. So incidentally, it seems like I have space for another uh, another party member, but I don't know what their uh, what's it called their element might be. Because we've got we've got sun, moon, poison, and then Garl. I still think doesn't really have one. At least it really doesn't seem like. Whenever I use the um, the attacks, it's just kind of like whatever. Let me throw a rock at me. Fuck. Ah, 
I thought that said moon shoe for a second. I was like, what? No, a necromancer is not a bad healer. A necromancer is a late healer. There's a difference. <laughs> Deus Ex Machina go. See, I told you, it's like Sailor Moon. That's what I was saying this whole time. Right, we got this completely random, arbitrary, who's a what's it? That sort of kind of makes sense in some kind of context, maybe? And so one thing that I found interesting that I've not seen, at least not yet, is in this game, unlike most RPGs, when you have uh, when you have this style of like stuff. Oh dang! How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I know. Um, so, I'm not sure what I can do here for some of these things. But see, this is what makes me think that Garl is, I mean, he's not useless, but certainly not super helpful. Because, again, I don't, I don't see what element or elements he's bringing to the table. Okay, see, now we have another kind of deus ex machina shtick here. Which, I, I guess we're shooting them into that portal thing that the, uh, that the, uh, Eclipse Light is getting into as well. Again, this is just my guesstimate. But I have a good feeling about it. Oh, psychic damage for the last one. That'll make sense. That's that's a pretty typical shtick. Especially since in this game, it doesn't seem like we really have traditional elemental damage. You know, like so often we have the, uh, you know, like fire, earth, lightning, wind, ice, whatever. So do I just have to like slog through this whole thing? I mean, I know this is like a super dangerous thing to say, but this is not super difficult. And I know, especially famous last words coming from me. But I honestly don't see it. See, now, what I should have done was wait until I was actually done with this before I said it. That would have been what a smart person does. I'm not smart. At least not all the time. 
Sometimes I kind of am. Okay, so... See, the, the moon shiv would be helpful, but I can't do it, so... Never used this before. So I guess if I if I take down his fists, then that's what happens. He goes into that like weakened form. I was, I was just thinking I was probably expected to use the, uh, the Solstice Strike combo attack on that. Because that has my, my two main characters both potentially hitting twice. One of them does the sword damage, the other one does the, uh, blunt. Okay. Too, because I can't seem to get uh, what's it called? Um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought, but I can't seem to get uh, Sarai here to work correctly with doing the. Oh, there we go. Okay, see, now we can say it. That seemed way too freaking easy. Like, even I did it with literally zero problems whatsoever. I'm, I'm just saying. Freaking weird.
So originally the whole shtick was that we ran into problems when it came to uh, dealing with these big monsters because it had to be during an eclipse. But I found a magical amulet that brings the eclipse to me. So that's the whole shtick that that was. Oh, you're so cute! Darn you, monkey! Look at how cute! So adorable. Oh, of course. We have repaired the MacGuffin, or we're about to repair the MacGuffin. Watch your water. 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 Everybody say it. Watch your water. Watch your water. Watch your water. See, I, I'm basically a baby boomer. <laughs> and or I wrote this game. Aside from the uh, uh, aside from the yeet reference, that that was not me. Oh, Lord. So that's the other shtick, is part of my powers as a solstice warrior is that we're able to alter the, the physical positions of the sun and moon in the sky. Which I maintain would seriously F up any wildlife. I mean, that was pretty easy. Um, <laughs> you you want a MacGuffin? I, I I'm sorry, Winnis. I, I I can't give out MacGuffins just willy nilly. You know, you gotta earn that MacGuffin through some arbitrary set of tests of strength and skill. The vial of time. Oh, that's right. So the whole point of me doing this entire thing is I was looking for this, the vial of time, because I ran into an alchemist and he needed his vial of time because it basically allows you to, in his case, prep ingredients in a very, very shortened amount of time. Because apparent in this case, you have to muddle something for centuries. And he was like, oh yeah, just give me the vial and I can do it in a few seconds. And it's like, you'd think that would be something you wouldn't lose. Keep it in your pocket, bro. Not complicated. Also, now I'm hungry because I keep saying MacGuffin and it sounds like muffin. Muffins are delicious. English muffins are the shiznit, yo. I'm just saying. Also, I don't know where to go. I don't remember where what's to Oh, obviously, time compression is great for everybody. It never does anything bad to anyone. I mean, this is just... The, these are well-trodden, hard-proven facts that we have seen through decades and decades of TV and movie various things showing how awesome time travel is. The fate of the Telerian Academy will not befall us? Probably not. I mean, I don't see why. There, There's literally zero reason to think there's going to be any consequences. Yeah. Now, the Telerian Academy, that rings a bell. Rev, is that the, is that the, the Magic the Gathering thing? Because there, there's the, the YouTube channel that's, I, I think it's Telerian Academy, but now I don't remember what it actually is. Might be right or wrong. 
Because I, I remember I saw a few of that guy's videos, but or, or no, it was Talarian Community College. That's what he called it. Okay, Talarian Academy was ripped apart by temporal currents. Sounds about right. I believe it. Okay, now I don't remember where to go. Where, where did I find that video? Was, was he in the mountain? No, he wasn't. I, he sent me to the mountain. He sent me to the big spooky mountain. But he himself was not there. Yeah, I, I remember this. I know this for a fact. They screwed around with time so much it broke. Well, again, that is obviously a... Uh, uh, I mean, that's, that's like, you know, a pip on the radar of an otherwise perfect record of time travel through any number of media sources. You know, I mean, like, Talarian Academy can't be bothered to have stuff going on correctly or whatever, but everybody else who time travels, oh, fine. I mean, Back to the Future, nothing ever went wrong. They were just traveling back and forth in time because it seemed like a good idea. Just because they wanted to be cool. Just saying. Okay, seriously, where was this guy? I don't think he was at the pond. I still don't understand how the reeling thing works in this game. I, I, I simply do not get it. Is it this weird light beam thing that I have to keep it in? Is that it? Did I just figure out how it actually works here? Also, did that say that I caught a fluorescent piranha? Okay, I finally figured out how this works. And yes, I have to keep it in this weird light column thing. Stuff like this is so much easier when you actually know what you're doing. Okay, seriously though, I don't know where to go. I, I know that he wasn't part of the actual Torment Mountain thing. Because I remember he sent us there. But there was, there was a big weird door that I had to open.
That was like the shtick for it. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be. Okay, well this sucks. I blame Red. For my not being able to remember how to do things. And this is good, see, with the, uh, with the fish fillet things, I'm able to, um, I'm able to make better food than what I could before. Amy. Shoot, where was I supposed to go? Here's that guy. For the life of me, I can't remember. I could swear it was from this direction. Because I remember I went the wrong way. That's right! That's right, he made a little portal. There's a little portal to back where he is. Somewhere on this lake. I remember, I remember I came out that direction and I was like, oh shoot, I went the wrong way. He made little portals to this lake and to like a weird glacier mountain-ish location. There we go. I can visit the Archivist. Archivist, whatever. This guy. We got your vial. Um. Okay, seriously though, if it's your most prized possession, how did you let it get away? Oh, now he's coming with us. I don't believe that was part of the plan. So he's got this whole like non-interference shtick that he runs with. So he's going to be our same level. Uh, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> like, hey, this is our good friend, the Immortal Alchemist. Because that just rolls off the tongue, you know? Homie, you look a mess. Now he looks spiffy. The one with the giant stone head. Okay, so we got new party member. Oh, back on the boat. How many 
see what this guy can do. Oh, that's the... Th this person is, like, following me around crawl... Um... Well, well yeah. Uh, uh, chronicling <laughs> our stories. Yeah, I can't words. So you make potions? Yes. I do. It's like me saying I do science. Yes, I do science. Oh dang. Teeks has this weird intuitive shtick running through her. See, she's got the magical book that writes down people's stories without them needing to actually tell them. Pretty weird. Also, this ship is kind of captained by a ghost. The whole thing is just freaking weird. Ocean guy is welcome to stay. Good. Oh. All right, let's head to Big Stone Island. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. The the steering is is um what's it called? It's Resident Evil style. It's always relative directionality rather than um, absolute directionality. I mean, that looks like a giant stone head, right? Okay. So let me just find a, uh, a save point here, and then we can head out. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, Rev. Like I was saying, it's it's basically time to head out. Withered Quark. I mean, this guy has to have some kind of magic, right? Like, homie is immortal and an expert at, like, mixing stuff. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. He does, like, you know, you know, like, skip time because, again, it never... Ah, Jesus! Never hurt anybody. Kukar? Kukar. Huh. Freaking weird. Uh huh. These people are your friends. It's like we're talking to a uh, chat GPT. <laughs> you, you have to give it the context of how it's answering something. These people are your friends. I am a friend. Can you help us in any way? Hold it at this precise altitude? What? Oh, of course! The evil castle! Because evil. I can't send friends into danger. <laughs> Did you give him another like 2,000 years or something? Or did you just like reset him? Did we do a hard hard reset on the giant? Hmm. 
Who the fudge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. There, see? Yeet! Freaking stupid. Star is. Sail into my mouth? Gross, bro. Gross. Okay, yeah, that is 100% an evil castle. Like, obviously. See, I kind of want to get into a fight just so I can see what the alchemist guy can do. But at bare minimum, I need to find a save point. He's still watching me! This is so creepy! Creepy statue. Creepy statue, man. Autumn Hills. Let's see if we can find a little bad guy or two real quick. Well, that is definitely not little, but it is a bad guy. The music in this game is so interesting. Let's see what we got. Arcane damage. Okay, so it's just, it's generic magic. Incidentally, I'm glad that I'm not playing um, Mario RPG because if I were, it would be super obvious that these are guys that you cannot jump. You, just, you can't hurt them by jumping. Because they're all spiky. And spiky is bad for the PTs. Just remember that, kids. Oh! Okay, so vulnerable to... I guess he does a small amount of generic arcane damage. Cool! Alright. Well, that said, I'm gonna head up to the Hills of Intent. Dude. Okay, but that said, I'm gonna head out uh, for now. I should be back on Wednesday. Uh, as with every week. I don't see anything getting in the way, and hopefully it won't. But you all take care of yourselves. Have a good uh, a good rest of the weekend. Stay safe and be well. For anybody who's in the U.S., I hope that you stay warm, because I know it's, uh, it's getting pretty cold in most places. But regardless, bye-bye everybody. Have fun. And yay! I got my gramophone point. Go me. Woo! Okay. Bye-bye everyone.